Did you know that according to the Unity Gaming Report, 30-40% to 40 of game developers spend more than 2 hours every week just reformatting, resizing, searching, and organizing files? For digital creators, the growing pile of work, assets, and files can quickly turn into an overwhelming jungle. So today we're gonna check out a tool that will help you organize and manage your files. And while it is used by big names in the industry, it can also be very beneficial for solo artists as well. And this platform I'm talking about is called Blueberry. So what is Blueberry and what can you do with it? Blueberry is a cloud-based digital asset management platform that can also be used in a private local network for anyone who wants more security. And it is designed to help you organize and collaborate on digital assets in a simple way. It's built specifically for digital creators and designers worldwide, and it is used across industries like game development, advertising, e-commerce, architecture, and industrial design. And now that you know what the platform is, let's see what it offers. So what Blueberry is, it is essentially an asset manager, and this asset manager can organize your projects and files and can easily help you collaborate through the platform and work with others, which will save you a ton of headaches, time, and money. The platform's UI has different views and mods to help you sort out your files, and you can change the size, orientation, or the files view mode. There is also a Kanban view, so you can organize your team project files if you are approved, pending, or under review. Without forgetting Jira and performance integrations, I'm not done talking about the organizational power of Blueberry yet, but before that, I want to talk about the AI-powered Smart Search. Like any search function, the Smart Search will help you find your files and projects by just typing their name. I know, just like in any other search function out there, but this one, on the other hand, has some interesting search features. You can search with keywords, tags, and content, and the list of filters here is extensive. You can look up your assets by shape, width and height of the image, and even the color, as Blueberry will automatically detect the main colors of your assets I mean, and uses them as a filter for smart search. While the color filter is a good feature, I found using the color picker a bit funky, as it requires to know exactly the hex color code of your assets. This would have been more helpful if you could define a range instead of a single exact value. If you have worked with digital 3D models before, you will find Blueberry's 3D preview engine, Kiwi, incredibly useful. Kiwi is essentially a 3D engine integrated with Blueberry. It allows you to control your camera, adjust material settings, check UVs, as well as inspect all the secondary maps. The engine supports SSR, which is screen space reflections, in addition to double-sided display features and just all-around life-enhancing features like wireframe and camera controls. It's kind of impressive that you can do all of this seamlessly through the browser. And one of Blueberry's standout features is its 3D preview engine, Kiwi. Imagine this. You can view over a hundred 3D file formats, like 3ds Max, Maya, Blender, and more, and you can do all of that right within the browser. No downloads and no delays. Just share a link and boom, you're collaborating instantly. And this works similar to the Google Doc document feature, but for 3D. And if you're working with 3D assets, this can definitely help you in your work. Moving away from the search to something else, which is the AI automated tagging. This might be my favorite feature of Blueberry, since I use tags a lot while working. They are useful and helpful to organize and quickly find anything, no matter where you put it or if you forgot the name. So the only downside of manual tagging is that it takes a long time, and that has been taken care of by the automated tagging process, which is powered by AI. So it analyzes all your files, whether it is an image or a 3D model, and adds tags to it accordingly. For you 3D artists and game developers, Blueberry provides support for Maya, Max, and Blender, as well as OBJ, FBX, and GLTF Files Preview, directly inside your browser if you are away from your PC or just need to see what has been sent to you directly. Though it doesn't offer the ability to modify 3D models, you still can see different maps, wireframe, change materials, and so on. You can also use its plugins like the Photoshop one that can connect the software and upload your work directly to Blueberry from there. 
and Blueberry also offers innovation for Unity and Chrome. But I will let you discover the rest for yourself. Blueberry also supports a multitude of file types and formats, not only images. So in addition to supporting various image types, it supports text documents like Word, PDF, Excel and more, in addition to 3D files like CAD files, also video and audio in addition to fonts. I think you get what I'm trying to say here. This tool supports a lot of things, and it is to be expected from a file managing platform. Blueberry will also detect the list of newly added and modified files to see the progress of your team's work and to manage updates smoothly. And what I think is a must for collaboration platforms is the comment feature for direct collaboration, as you can preview files and even 3D models, mark them and add comments for your coworkers and team members directly in the preview window. At the end of this video, I just want to say that Blueberry comes with a lot of features that I couldn't include, otherwise this video will become a list of features and I don't want to bore you to death. On a side note, you need to know that Blueberry is also used by a lot of big teams and companies in gaming, advertising, and even industrial design. So if you are intrigued by Blueberry and what it has to offer, you can choose from several plans, whether you are a solo user or part of a team. And plans start as low as 90 cents per month for casual users, scaling up to $9.99 for small teams and up to $49.99 for larger teams. There is even an enterprise plan for unlimited users, but you will need to contact them for that. If you'd like to give it a try, Blueberry offers a free trial, which you can explore for free, and you can find the link for that in the description down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more content like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.